guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell from the title of today's video, as well as the lack of lipstick that I have on my lips, today I am going to be showing you all a quick how to change your La Brea Pearson. So this particular video is going to be specifically about this La Brea Pearson, which is in the dead center of the lip right here in the middle, but it could work for any of the ones that can be found underneath the bottom lip. Now I do have a video regarding how to change your Filtrum slash Medusa Pearson, and that is primarily for Pearsons that you can find above the top lip. Now there's not much of a difference. However, I have found that changing the bottom ones is much easier than changing the top ones. I think the main reason for that is with the bottom lip, you can flip it down, whereas with the top lip, you kind of have to flip it up and then your hand's in the way. So I do think that changing your bottom lip Pearsons is much easier than changing your top ones. Not by much, but noticeably so. And yes, I will actually demonstrate both ways that I change a lip piercing, which is why I don't have lipstick on today. So I don't mess it up. The first thing that I do like to make sure that I have are gloves. I have found that changing piercings while wearing gloves makes the process so much easier and so much smoother. And you're not sitting there trying to like grip at the jewelry because the gloves will act as a grip for you. If you do have access to gloves, I definitely recommend them. I have these for when I dye my hair or change my piercings. This is just a little tip that if you struggle to get jewelry out or jewelry in or unscrewing it or anything like that, gloves really do help. Also for the purpose of this video, I am only gonna be showing you how to change to a Lebray stud. Now with this type of piercing, you can use a hoop, which I feel like would probably be easier, but because I haven't done that myself yet, that's not what this video is focused on. This one is specifically focused on studs. So if you wanna see one about hoops, let me know, though I feel like that's probably way easier than studs since studs can only go in one way, whereas hoops, you could put it in either end. So for the purposes of this video, I do have a mirror with me just to make sure that I'm guiding things correctly. I do have my gloves, which I'm gonna put on now. All right, so to remove your lip piercing, for me, I have threadless jewelry, it does not require any kind of screwing. So basically all I'm gonna do is reach in and pull and it'll come out easily. Same thing with putting it back in. All I have to do is push it and it'll snap into place. If you do have jewelry that requires screwing, that's why gloves are really helpful because they serve as an extra layer of grip for you. So reach inside. Voila, I have both pieces out. Now, the two methods of inserting jewelry. The first one is basically pulling your lip down and find in the hole. When you have a mirror in front of you, it's a whole lot easier to pull your lip down, see that hole, and just plop it in. Once you pull the lip down and pop it in, it should poke through. Also, pay no mind to the fact that it's red. It's just because I'm messing with it. So the second one is if you find that pulling your lip and you're trying to get in the hole and it's just not going, you can do the other method, which is where you have to have two studs. You put one through this side and then it'll pop through on the inside and then you feed the jewelry that you actually want to be in there. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna take my starter jewelry, which is longer, and I'm just gonna push it into the hole and then see it pop through. This kind of shows me where the hole is, because it may be that, because it may be that, this serves as like a guide, just in case, you know, you're poking around and you just can't seem to find the hole when you have your lip turned over. When you put jewelry through this way, you can see it poking through the hole. You'll see the metal poking through. You can take the actual jewelry you want in there, line it up with it and feed it through. Now, you gotta be careful because the other piece will fall in the process. And then you'll just take the little gem that you want on the other end, you wanna line it up. and push. Now that's the kind of jewelry that I have. All it requires is a little push. You may have the kind of jewelry where you need to hold it in place while you twist it. But the same principle still applies where you just kind of have to hold this one in place while you thread or push this gem through. So that'll stick. So those are just the two ways that I have found are easiest to change a Lebre stud. Pearson. Again, this is probably not helpful if you want to change to a hoop or a captive bead ring, but if you are looking to change to a little stud, this is what I have found to be helpful. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron-only content, and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' 
thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button, wherever it may be, because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you wanna know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.